If you find that your touch on your smart table isn't as accurate as you need it to be, you can go to the teacher interface and calibrate your smart table. And the smart table has four cameras in each corner. This is what's called the DVI-T technology. And that's what allows us to have generally very accurate touch and gesture capabilities like using your fist to erase in certain applications. But when we do need to make sure our touch is accurate, we can calibrate our table. So I'm going to plug in a USB stick to get to the teacher interface. When this launches up at the top in, with the orange button is the calibrate option. It will give me a message that we're only doing this if our touch isn't responding and this could take up to five to ten minutes depending on how off the calibration is. So we're going to calibrate the table. Now what we need to do is we need to press the center of the target and not let go until we hear a little bing and our target moves. So very similar to orienting the smart board if you've got one of those. Now what we need to do is we need to draw in color and you'll see a blue line as you draw in color and as your touch is registered as accurate additional green squares will begin to fill in. So this is the part of the process that can take a little bit longer depending on how much your table is not responding to touch or your touch is not accurate. If you find your touch is now becoming quite accurate, you can hold down two or more fingers onto the smart table and it will give you a countdown. And when your countdown is finished, it will launch right back to the smart table teacher interface. So that is how our calibration is 